The title of this project is System Modeling, Localization, and Path Tracking for Differential Steering Drive Autonomous Robots. And the purpose of this video is to introduce system modeling in an intuitive way by means of an application example. We will investigate how to develop and track a path for a robot to follow autonomously. My name is Jaime Vadillo, and I hope you enjoy and learn something from this video. A robot moves by differential steering when two wheels, one on the left side and one on the right side, are attached to motors whose speed is controlled independently. Turning a motor at a lower speed than the other causes the robot to turn in that direction. The greater the speed difference, the sharper the turn. And when the wheels spin at the same speed but in opposite directions, the robot turns in place. If we wanted the robot to travel on its own, we need to know a couple of things about our robot. The X and Y coordinates of the robot center with respect to a starting point, the orientation phi with respect to the X axis, and the constants R and L. Well, R is the radius of the wheel and L is the distance between the wheel. Let's say a user has initial control of the robot and the robot travels along this path where each dot is a position x, y based on time. If the robot is capable of memorizing this path, how do we track it? One of the simplest methods is follow the caret. In this method, the robot follows caret points x sub g, comma y sub g coordinates from the recorded path by aligning its orientation to point towards the caret point. The robot follows the carrots by making the difference between the desired angle, orientation phi sub d, and the robot's current orientation phi equal to zero. In control system theory, follow the carrot is an application of reference tracking. The robot is trying to track the desired angle to know which way to go. Here, R is the reference signal, or the desired orientation. U is the controller commands to the plant, left and right wheel velocities. Y is the output of the plant, the current orientation, and E is the difference between the output and the input. So now, to proceed in solving our problem, we need to model this system. To do this accurately, we need to know the dynamics of the motors and their interaction with the wheels. But for simplicity, we start by simply looking at the kinematic. The speed of the robot in its x and y directions is the derivative of the position, x dot and y dot and the angular velocity, how fast I rotate, is phi dot. Now, rather than thinking about wheel velocities, v sub r and v sub l, it is more intuitive to think of just one velocity of the whole robot and the direction in which it travels. So the differential steering model is normally transformed to the unicycle model with dynamics in terms of just v and omega. If we set the model's kinematics equal to each other, we get relationships for the left and right wheel velocities. Now that we have the kinematic equations, we need to develop our model. If we set the states x dot and y dot equal to the input u, then the desired angle we want to go in is a tan of u2 over u1. To track this angle, we use phi sub d minus phi and something we call a PAD controller, still based on the closed loop system idea. We said omega, how fast we want to turn to this error. Now we only need to find v. By the following relationships, we see that v is just the norm of u, or the square root of u1 squared and u2 squared. Now our model is complete and ready for implementation. Here, we see an example of a path developed by a user driving the robot. And here, we implement the follow the carrot path tracking algorithm for the robot to track the path autonomously. We see the carrot points obtained from the memorized path. This is one of the simplest algorithms for path tracking. However, system modeling is the basis for all of the other more efficient and complex algorithms. That is all. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.